What's up, everybody? Welcome to Lisa Upside Down. My name is Lisa, and today we have a Tone and Titan for you. Let me explain this Tone and Titan class to you. All right, so Tone and Titan is Tabata style. It is a little bit different than the Pilates Tabata style that I do. This is 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So 40 seconds of busting your ass, 20 seconds of catching your breath. We do seven exercises for two sets on core and then seven exercises, two rounds for glutes and the lower half of your body. Normally with Tone and Titan, I have the gliders rocking, but not today. This is a gliderless Tone and Titan. Yay! That doesn't mean it's any easier though. <laughs> so this is going to be a doozy. It is meant to be a challenge. So do what you can, listen to your body, stay safe. If your body is saying no to anything that we're doing, please stop. Listen to your body. Don't be an a-hole, okay? Okay. This is being recorded during my 6.30 a.m. Zoom class. Well, oh, they are down below you. So if I'm looking like I'm staring into your soul, I am not. I am looking to make sure that they are staying safe as well. Let's talk torture devices. I told you already that we are not using gliders, but that doesn't mean that I don't have all the things going. So today, <sighs> we have a resistance band. We have dumbbells and we have blocks. All of these are optional. They help, they are what we are using today. Um, however, you can get by in this workout without having any of those and just doing body weight only, not a problem. This class is silent as far as music goes, um, copyright issues on YouTube. So uh, today we are listening to my Spotify, at least that I lean. If you wanna follow along, we are using the Pilates playlist. I'm stuck in the 90s right now. So it's the 90s, 2000s Pilates throwback, I think. Um, that's what we're rocking out to. If you wanna follow along, cool. If you wanna listen to your own jams, cool. If you wanna listen to me <laughs> blabber on in dead silence in my garage, that's cool too. A little awkward, but it's cool too. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. If you're ready, grab, the, grab some water, grab a towel, grab your mat, get a good frame of mind, set your intentions, and let's get ready for a great class. All right, start your watches. Do that. Okay. <sighs> Ready? All right, we're doing planky. We're planky plankies today. So let's roll out those wrists. Take those fingers to the outside. Heels of your hands in. Start to spinny spins. And think about your knuckles hitting the mat independently. As you roll around to one direction. You focus on one wrist more than the other. So my voice. <clears throat> All right, go the other way. This way, circle, circles. Okay, really get those circles nice and wide. Perfect, one more. And sit all the way down. Fingers towards you, heels of your hands towards me. Or, you know, not you. <laughs> Sit on down and bend those elbows. Try to lift those palms of your hands off the ground ever so slightly, stretching out your forearms. <sighs> hey. Good. If your elbows don't bend, get it. <laughs> this is a weird thing for those wrists. But do your best. Stretch out those forearms. Good, flip those hands over, back of the hands down onto the mat. Sit down, same idea. Try to bend those elbows, getting the back side of those wrists. I say it all the time. I used to say it all the time. I haven't said it in a long time. Tennis elbow comes from the forearm and the wrist and the elbow all together. It's not just your elbow. So the more that you can do for your wrist, the better off your elbows are gonna be. If we're sitting there planking for a while, Good to roll them out. All right, so you're gonna find your wrist knuckle. Finger above, thumb below, right there. Find that little blank spot, make a fist, and start to roll it out. Get all that synovial fluid, lubricate them joints. Take that rotation around the other direction. Hey! Roll, 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 roll. <laughs> all right, take it to the other side. Find that wrist knuckle, go right above it. Sorry, it's hard to see with my bling. And then take the other side, squeeze nice and tight, and then make a fist. So you wanna squeeze first, then fist. 
sounded dirty in some way. Roll, roll, roll. Take it around the other direction. Good. All right. Shake them out, shake them out. Bring them together. Find that namaste hands. Really push together. Release. Pull the backs of your hands together. Same idea. Push them together. It's the same thing you were doing on the ground, but just switching back and forth. Just getting your hands used to that pressure. Your wrists used to working. Hey. Last one. Good. Shoot those fingertips all the way up to the ceiling. Take that right arm down, left elbow in the crook of your right arm. Pull all the way down, elbows out. And take everything over to the side. If you want to take a little bit more stretch into your shoulder, start to push your shoulder blade up towards the ceiling. Bend down from the window. <laughs> okay, come all the way back up. Grab onto that left elbow to the window, to the wow. Good. Straightening out that arm will stretch that fascia all the way from your hip up to your fingertips. If it's a little intense, you can bend that elbow, whatever feels good. You can play with it and actually feel that fascia stretch. It bring yourself all the way back up, fingertips to the ceiling, left elbow down, right in the crook. Grab your eagle arms or this. If this isn't working, this is fine. Pull down, elbows out to the side, roll to the lift. If you want to stretch out that back shoulder blade, you can. Good. Slowly bring your body back up. Grab onto that right elbow and bring it to the left. Straighter bent. Don't care. Just stretch. In between those panes of glass that I'm always sticking you in. Good. Come all the way out. Roll the shoulders back one at a time. Two at a time. Good. Find yourself in a tabletop position and then take one step out with your left hand, one step out with your right hand. So you got it nice and wide. You're going to do this weird little creature shoulder dip thing, taking one shoulder down and into the center. Bring it up. Exhale down into the center. Now, as you're doing this, you want to keep your shoulder away from your ear. Your shoulder's going down to the mat. You're stretching right here. If it feels a little intense or it doesn't feel right, move your shoulder around until it does. Play with the angle of your shoulder. Exhale that shoulder down all the way. Two more. Exhale, in, last one. Okay, bring yourself back into that tabletop position. You're gonna be threading that needle, so you can do it the two ways that I like to do it. So you can take those legs out a little bit more and pull it into your hip flexors, the stretch, or if you do it in tabletop, it takes it more towards that spine. Whatever you do, bring that right arm all the way up. Ooh, my hip just cracked, and down under your left armpit. Left hand comes up. And maybe it comes all the way to the right. Maybe it stays to the ceiling. Maybe it's even still on the ground. Whatever you'd like to do, just twist. Now, if your knees are out farther than your hips, you're going to feel that stretch in your right hip flexor. Maybe your left fingertips find that right hip crease. Pull your shoulder away from your ear, creating space in your neck. Just twist. Good. Reverse it. Push yourself all the way up. Whoa, give that little stretch. Back to that tabletop position. Wherever your knees are, pick one. Don't care. Left hand goes up under your right armpit. Right hand comes up. Maybe it finds the ceiling. Maybe it finds the left wall. Maybe it finds your left hip crease. Pull your shoulder away from your ear.
Good, come on out. Push yourself back up. Find that nice little stretch. Back onto your heels. Grab all 10 fingers behind your back. Open up that chest and use your hands like a lever to stretch the insides of your shoulders. Take it from one side to the other. Whatever feels good. You let that head fall back. Good. Take your torso over to your right. Oh my goodness. That was hard. Right thigh. Good. Bring your torso over to your left side. Good. Bring yourself all the way back into center. Shake it, shake it. Rock it, rock it. Do what you got to do. You're done with that upper half of the stretches. Find that tabletop position, check your toes. Take your hips all the way up to the ceiling. Ooh, walk it out and down dog. Left, right, right, left. Stretch those calf muscles. Sometimes with calf stretches, what feels good in this down dog is to take one heel at a time. Put that heel to the ground and then start to bring yourself into a plank. And stretches that calf a little bit more than a down dog does. Get those calves good. They may or may not be put to work today. All right. Find that down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet so you're in a nice forward fold the back of your mat. Just start with that first forward fold. Try and get a nice straight spine. Really feeling that pull in that hamstring both sides. If your legs aren't completely straight, it's okay. Go where they're comfortable. If this, you're feeling the stretch, that's fine. Just feel that stretch. Take that left hand in front of your right foot. Right hand goes all the way up to the ceiling. Bend that left knee. Okay, so now you've got that stretch in the outside of that right hamstring. Right hand goes back, maybe. Maybe it finds your left hip crease. Still always making room in that neck. Bring your shoulder away from your ear. Good, unwind yourself and take it to the other side. Right hand in front of your left foot. Left hand comes up, right knee bends, putting all of that stretch in that outside hamstring on the left side. Left hand finds the back of the wall behind you, maybe. Maybe it finds your hip crease. Pull shoulder away from your ear. Rewind. Take yourself all the way into that nice forward fold. You're gonna heel toe your feet out to the sides. You might not be on your mat. And that's okay. Find that wide leg forward fold. Same idea, you wanna find that forward fold first in the center. Start to take your hips, shift your hips from side to side and you'll see where I'm going with this. You got that inside hamstring stretch. All right, same idea, take it to the other side. As you come with your left hand in front of your right foot, you're gonna shift your hips over to that right side. Right hand comes up, one more twisty twist. Now you're gonna feel that stretch in the inside of that hamstring of your left leg. Get the damn shoulder away from your ear, pull it down. Reverse, take it to the other side. Shift your hips over to the left. Take that left hand over to the right. Like a lollipop. Find that inside hamstring. All right, find yourself back Ooh, at the back of your mat, taking yourself into that down dog. Drop those knees, we are ready. All right, <laughs> stretches quads really quick. All right, planky, 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 plank, plank, planks. All day, you're gonna need a block. Stick it in front of your face. Um, you can go with one block, you can go with two. Depends really how long your arms are, to be honest. If you don't have blocks or you don't want them, you don't need them, 
but you're gonna put those blocks in the center in between your hands. Okay, you got box planks. Do I usually do one or two? Now I don't know. Now it looks really, really close to my face. Okay, let me get my timer ready for you. Okay, we're starting out with box planks. So you're gonna come into that nice cat plank position with that one knee up. Yeah, I usually do too, <laughs> I couldn't tell. All right, you're gonna come into this nice little cat plank, rounding your back, make sure your ES doesn't come up above your head. You're gonna come down, left knee, left wrist, left elbow, right elbow, right wrist, down and to the side. Okay, why are those blocks there? To keep you honest, you're coming up and over those blocks every time so that you don't do this. Okay, you wanna come up and over. Oops, I lost my timer. <sighs> are you ready? Me neither. Let's do it anyway. Set yourself up. Let's go. Take it. Wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist. So even if you're not going up totally over those blocks, you still have that as a mental reminder to come up and over. You want to make sure that you're in that nice plank position. You're not up here just cheating. 15 seconds left. Really want to come all the way down to the mat. Hit those wrists. Stay as close <laughs> to your arms as you can. Down and up and over. Ooh, change. Take it into that pigeon pose. Stretch it out. <sighs> okay. Okay. One side down. <laughs> Second side. Set yourself up, you got five seconds left. Find it on the other side, ready? Let's go, up and over. Oh my gosh. Okay, note about wrists. If it gets to be a lot, you can pop up onto your fingers like this. <laughs> you can bring it into knuckles. If you have those blocks and you wanna move them like so, all of those things work. Keep going. 10 seconds. Hop and over. Make sure you stay honest. Come all the way up. Ooh, change to get into that pigeon pose. <sighs> oh my God, I hate planks. All right, while you're here, take one of those blocks, move them out of the way. You're going back to that original first leg. You're doing cat plank, tapping that block and coming right back up. Ready? Let's go. Down and up. Whoa. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. Stay here. Use that core, right? Core, pull, pull, pull. Keep that heel glued to your glute. 15 seconds left. Ooh. Pull, 10 seconds. Pull, pull. Almost. Change, find that pigeon. <sighs> Sit it down. You got the other side. <laughs> Get ready. Same idea, other side. Five seconds left, pull yourself into that plank. Find that knee to that block. Let's go. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> pull, pull. There we go. Use those obliques, those abs right there on that side. This is right set. Pull, pull. Make sure you're not up here. Okay, completely different. Pull yourself down into that plank pose. Almost. Change! Ha ha! <laughs> Find that pigeon. <sighs> All right. Head onto your back and grab your dumbbells. Or not if you don't have them handy. All right. 
Okay. Next one. Heels are up. Hands are up. You're bringing that tailbone up off the ground and your shoulder blades right here. Tap, back down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down. All right. <sighs> Set yourself up. <sighs> Let's go. Bring it up and down. Tap, tap. Nice and slow. Find a good beat. You want to bring those shoulder blades up off the ground as high as you can. Those heels are coming straight to the ceiling, preferably right above your hips. You want to imagine that you've got a rope attached to those ankles and they're pulling you straight up using your lower abs to pull your glutes up off the ground. Rounding that back, push, push through. Good, take it all the way out, give you that nice morning stretch. Stretch those abs out. Ooh. All right, next, take that one dumbbell. You're gonna come from a banana to a boat position, switching that dumbbell around and around your legs. Set yourself up, let's go. Take it in and out. If this is not happening, you need those hands to help you, you can come to a supported V up, all right? What I'm looking for is down and up. I'm gonna cue in about five more seconds, whichever way you're rotating, rotate the opposite direction. Just so both arms have a chance to do one of the jobs. I'm all the way up, right back down. When you come down, make sure your shoulder blades stay off the ground. Try to keep your heels up the whole time. Pull. Change! Come on up, stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. All right, back into plank. That was your plank break. <laughs> Coming into a nice forearm plank. All you're doing is shifting front and back. Set yourself up, we're shifting. Let's go, right here. Shift, 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 shift. Make sure that your elbows are at least as wide. So I know you're shifting over them. Make sure they're not out here. Okay, right here, forward and back. Squeeze your glutes. You get that nice little shift. 10 seconds. Ooh hoo hoo. Almost. Change, bring that belly to the ground and stretch. Bring that chest forward. Good. Take a break, one minute. Grab some water. <laughs> okay. You good? <laughs> oh my God. All right, that was round one. Ooh, look, coffee. You got second round coming up. 30 seconds of rest. <sighs> oh, goodness. And coming straight back to those box planks. So move those dumbbells out the way. Put those blocks under your face. 10 seconds. All right, let's get it. Five seconds left, let's go. Find which knee you wanna start with, and let's go, up and over. Uh, 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 uh. Elbow, wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist. You got it. <laughs> up and over, 20 seconds. Try and stay as close to your wrists as possible. Use those abs. Really get that spin in there. Nice and high. Five seconds. Ooh. Change. Find that pigeon, come on down. <sighs> 
You got it on the other side. Ready? Five seconds left. Set yourself up. Fogging in my glasses. Ready? Let's go. Other side. Wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist. Make sure your setup's good. Come on over. Good. 20 seconds. <laughs> Get that spin over there. Oh my God. 10 seconds. Woo! Almost. Change! I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Take that block out of the way. One block. Only finding those cat planks. Ready? Get up. Let's go. Tap that block. Tap and up. Tap and up. <laughs> Try to tap. <laughs> Good. Stay up nice and high. Use those obliques. Use those abs. Pull, pull. Belly button to the ceiling. Ass to the ground. 10 seconds. Bouncy, bouncy. Five seconds left. You got it. Woo! Find that pigeon pose. Oh my god. We're almost there, guys. That's a big old lie. <laughs> Round four. This is four. Ready? Hop up, other side. Let's finish these damn planks. Ready? Let's go. Tap. Pull up. Like you were shaking it for some people. Pull, pull. Knee comes all the way up. Keep that foot glued to your glutes. 15 seconds left. <laughs> 10 left. You can do it. Get your butt down. Butt down, booty down. Change. Oh my God. Ooh, no more. <laughs> Get that out of the way. <sighs> All right, head on to your back. Same thing, different option. If you would like to this time, feet up. If you trust yourself, you can take one of those dumbbells and weight your lower half, okay? So now it's a little bit, it's a little bit heavier for your abs to roll up, all right? Set yourself up. And let's go up. Up, up. Same movement. Make sure you're really squeezing those feet together. So you don't drop that dumbbell. On your face. Push, push through. Really lift that tailbone up, up, up. Stroke of the genius. Shoulder blades up. Nice and high, less than 10 seconds. Flex those feet. You're almost there. Ooh. Change. Find that morning stretch. All the way out, stretch, abs. Grab your dumbbell. Find that banana boat. Find your V-ups, ready? Let's go. Bring that dumbbell around, back down, around, back down. Switching from one side to the other, making that full circle. And I'll let you know, 10 seconds, switch the rotation of that dumbbell to the other way. All right, switch. Rotate around the other direction. If you're not rotating and you're using this hands for help, good for you, you're still moving. <laughs> all the way up 
Five seconds. Almost. Change. Come on up. Stretch it out. Find your plank. Last one. Shifting back and forward. Ready? Forearm plank, let's go. Forward and back. Make sure you're not up here. Okay, this ain't doing shit for you. <laughs> okay, get down, move your butt down. But also, that being said, we're not here, right? Find that good plank. Bam, hit it. Forward and back. 20 seconds. Keep moving. Done seconds. Five more. <laughs> Ooh change. All the way down. Stretch out those arms. Do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> Guess what? You get a minute break. But what happened to the weight transfers? <laughs> well, my Zoomians, that was an extra set. Because <laughs> I, I lost count. So, for you on YouTube, you don't get the last set. I'm going to cut that out. For you guys, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, ready? No more arms. Stand it up. Grab that band. Okay, ready? <sighs> okay, round one. What we are doing is coming from a squat with this band on. Keep that band low, not on your knees. Not up here, you floozy. Pull your mini skirt down. All right? Okay, what we've got. Step it out. Find that squat. Find that squat in your heels. Come down nice and low. Stay low, but bring that foot off the ground. Take it back to a lunge. This leg finds the full range of that band. What does that mean? That means when you come from here, you're gonna sweep that leg out. Sweep out like that. So you're not coming in into the side. You want that glute to work, right? So you're gonna find the full range of that band as you come back into that lunge. Full range of that band to come to that squat. Does that make sense? No? Too bad. Ready? Squat it out. Let's go. Take it down. Lunge. Down. Lunge. This right foot's planted. It's not doing anything. From the back to the side. Oh, even this hurts already. Why? I'm such a wuss today. Good. Finding the range of that band. Use your glutes. 15 seconds, down and down. In your heels, always in your heels. Squat in your heels, lunge in your heel. Okay, change. No, there's no pulsing. <laughs> We're chilling. All right, <clears throat> round two. You're coming from that lunge, right? Same leg, find that lunge. You're gonna lift yourself up ever so slightly to bring that leg to a curtsy. Watch this knee in the front. Back lunge to curtsy. Let's go. Lunge, curtsy. Lunge, curtsy. Very slight, right? Just hopping that leg up. As you hop it, putting all that tension in that quad muscle. Staying low, this stays bent, okay? Watch this knee. Align that knee over this ankle. Keep it there. Feel this glute activated. Five seconds. Hey, change. <laughs> Come on up. All right, round three. You got all three. So you start with the curtsy, same side. Curtsy, lunge, squat. Lunge, curtsy, all right? Set yourself up, same side. 
Let's go. Start with that curtsy. Lunge. Keep this leg bent. Lunge. Curtsy. Lunge. Squat. Ooh. Good. Stay low. Stay in your heel. Feeling that glute. Feeling that quad. Hey. Keep tension in that leg. Watch that alignment. And watch your chest. As people get tired, they tend to fall over. <sighs> Taking it into their toe. Change. And when they do that, it takes the whole exercise and makes it pointless. All right. You'll find that curtsy from one side. Coming down into a curtsy. Take a step out. Find the other side curtsy. Step out. Other side. Set yourself up. Ready? Let's go. Find your original side. Take it to the other side. Stay low. It's kind of like a shuffle squat in the center. Stay low. Good. Side to side. If your mini skirt comes up, push it back down. Stay modest. Watch that knee over your ankle. If you're watching that knee, make sure you don't have front row access. Okay, look at it from the top. Side to side. Change. All right, you got the other side. So those three exercises, other leg. So plant that left leg. You have squat to lunge as that first one. Set yourself up. Ready? Let's go. Take a squat. There we go. <laughs> squat. Lunge. Stay low. Pop up those toes so you know you don't have a death grip on your mat. Squat. Lunge. Squat. Get that knee down. Ooh, stay low. Chest up. Work on posture all the time. Okay, straight back. Chest up, shoulders back. Three seconds. Change. All right, same side, ground that left foot. You got lunge to curtsy. Ready? Kick it out, kick it out, shake it out. Rock it out. Do what you got to do. Ready? Let's go. Find that lunge. Find that curtsy. Grinding that left foot. Lunge. Get it back. So as I'm doing this, I'm settling into that heel. Settling into that heel. Settling in. Posture. Straight back. Watching my knee. Coming low. Coming low. Ooh. Chest up, look up. Be proud of what you're doing. Have a nice proud chest, open collarbone, knee over ankle, change. All three. Starting with that curtsy. Ready? You have 10 seconds left. Find that curtsy squat. Come on down. Let's go. Curtsy. Lunge. Squat. Take it low. Stay low. Good. Don't straighten that leg out. Stay low. Take it low. Mmm. You got this. You got it. Stay with it. Ah, death grip on your toes. Lift those toes. Get that chest up. Change. Shake it off. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Maybe give it a little forward fold. Stretch out those hamstrings since they've been bent the whole time. <laughs> 
Good. You got a minute. Grab some water. You could do it all by yourself. You know, it would help if I turned the cedar off. <sighs> oh, I don't need that. Schwitzing. All right. Round two. Seven more things. Seven exercises. One more time. Three on this side. Three on this side. A little curtsy hop in the middle. And you's done. 20 seconds of your break. Do whatever you think you need. If you want to grab your dumbbells, because <laughs> you're a badass, and you want to do dumbbell stuff in your hands, so you got arms going too, do you. I'm over it, but you can. All right, ready? Ground that right foot. Right side first, get down to that squat. Let's go. Here you squat. Lunge. Squat. Stay low. Fix your skirt. Good. Take it low. All the way down. Low, low, low. Almost. Make sure you're hitting both, okay? Hit that squat. Hit that lunge. I know you're tired. Bring it towards the end. Finish strong. Your last set of anything should be the best set you do all day. Change. Shake it out. Do what you gotta do. You got lunge to curtsy. Same side. Ground that foot, right foot down. Find that lunge. Fix your skirt. Chest up. Ready? Let's go. Leave that knee over your ankle. Hold time. Stay low, low, low. Watch your alignment. Chest up. Don't look down. Unless you're looking at your alignment, and then look right back up. Say hello. You got it. Eee! I don't. Take it low. Stay low. You're almost there. Change. Come on up. Shake it off. <sighs> You got one more, all three. Starting with that curtsy. Shake out those hamstrings. Shake out those quads. Ready, let's go. Find that curtsy. Good, curtsy. Lunge, Woo. <laughs> squat. Take it deep in that lunge too. Deep in that curtsy. Take that curtsy all the way back. Last set of these, right? So that means best set. That's it. Get that knee as low to the ground as your knee will go. Ooh, it's my mom's jam. <laughs> Stay low. <laughs> Almost. 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. Got it. Yeah, change. Here, I cheated on that last one. That's okay. Forgive me. Okay, we're transitioning to the other side. So you got curtsy to curtsy. <sighs> Set it up on the side you were just doing. Ground that right foot. Come on down, find that curtsy, let's go. Curtsy, shuffle squat. Other side. Watch the alignment of those knees. Take it slow, it's not a race, you're not going anywhere. There's no forward motion. All right, it's like cheating at solitaire. <laughs> no one wins. Really? Take it low. Stay low. <clears throat> You're almost there. Find that nice curtsy. Stay low. Take it low. Take it deep. Change. <sighs> We're over the halfway mark. <clears throat> Three on the other side and you're free. <laughs> All right, ground that left foot. Uh, 
lunge. Left foot, squat, left foot. In the mat. Good videos. Stay low. Squat, feel that glute activating. Okay, feel your muscles go. You just did three on the other side. This is a break, right? <laughs> no, no it's not. Stay low, chest up. I know you're tired, chest up. Look up, change. <laughs> yep, I feel you. All right. <laughs> <sighs> lunge to curtsy. We're so close. Five seconds left. Find that lunge. Let's go. Lunge. Small shift. Loosen up my butt and stay. Take it back. 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 <gasps> back. Sit. Sit. Watch that knee. Don't let this band pull this leg over, okay? Fight the band. Sit. Take those toes <laughs> out of the mat. Change. One more, one more, one more. You got all three. Starting with that curtsy. Ground that left foot. Mentally prepare. Think about what you go have for breakfast. Mmm. They might have more Valentine's Day cookies. Ready? Let's go. Start with that curtsy. Lunge. Maybe that's why this sucks so bad. Whoa. Spent all weekend eating Valentine's Day cookies. Learned my lesson. Stay low. Mmm. You're almost there. 15 seconds left of this workout today. And I'll stretch you out. You can go. Chest up. Watch that knee. Finish strong. Change. Oh, yeah. Push yourself up. Shake it off. Kick your mini skirt aside. Forward fold. Ha, ha, ha. Take those feet at hip distance apart. Grab opposite elbows. Bend those knees. Just let yourself rock back and forth. If you're dizzy for any reason, please don't do this. <laughs> I don't need you landing on your head. Side to side. Good. Putting your hands to the ground. Sit it on down all the way. Roll up onto your back. Find that happy baby. Grabbing the outsides of your feet. And maybe take the right foot into your chest, left foot out straight. Stretching the inside hamstring on that left leg. And you take it to the other side. Left foot into your chest. Oh, my hamstring doesn't want to straighten up. There we go. Right leg out straight. Got bring both of those feet into your chest. Grab on. Pull those feet into your belly, chest area. Maybe you rock it side to side. Good. Let go of those feet. Bring those knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. You can round that back. Walk around yourself up and down, side to side, whatever you need to do to give yourself a mini back massage. Good. <laughs> Lay it all the way down onto your back. Take that supine twist to the right. Knees go over to the right. Just chill. If you want a little bit more hamstring love because your legs were bent for quite some time, you can take it out straight. And you can grab onto that foot, those feet. Key to this is to have your shoulder blades on the ground, 
hips in a straight line from the floor to the ceiling. And your gaze over your opposite shoulder. Good, bring those knees back into your chest and roll them over to the other side. Whichever way you want the supine twist to look, do it if you want those nice straight legs. Just make sure your gaze is to the opposite shoulder. You got that nice straight line from bottom hip to top hip, floor to ceiling. Arms out straight. You can cactus them if you don't have the room. Okay. <clears throat> Bring those knees into your chest rock and roll yourself all the way up. Find that dun 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 Find that dandasana, scoot, yell, butt, back. Chest goes forward, there you go. Find that nice straight spine in that dandasana. Bend yourself over. When you cannot go any further with that nice straight spine, then round that back. Let that head hang. Flex those feet, pull on them, and sit all the way back up. Let those legs come with you. Find that Sukhasana. We're done. We're done. Grab love and light. Oh, bring it down into your own heart center. Bow your head in appreciation for yourself and for your practice. Thank you for playing with me this beautiful morning. Please enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, the rest of your life. Namaste.